be cool. Uh, let's bring in uh, uh, Carolyn to talk about um, the cannabis. Uh, welcome to the Texas <laughs> Hemp Show, uh, Carolyn. How you doing? I'm good. Hi. Hi. This Karen Karen Leeper and her husband Ben have uh, the Canna bus from San Antonio, and I have not seen the bus. The last time I saw you and Ben was out there in April at the event that uh, Michael and the guys had over there. And you guys have moved and got the bus going. I think you actually alluded when we saw you in San Antonio. <laughs> You said, well, stay tuned. We're going to have something coming soon for you that has wheels. And uh, yep. this is it. This is it. Are you in the bus, right? I'm in the bus. So <laughs> the background isn't very exciting because um, we have our heat blocking panels up right now um, uh -huh. just to keep it cool. But yeah, so this is just a, a school bus that we converted into a mobile dispensary. Pretty cool. Well, this is really cool, and you guys have a, a, a – you're known as Pharmacy Botanical Shop, and you guys actually do some delivering. I've got – I think we've got your website even queued up uh, for uh, for viewers. We could maybe share that here in a little bit, but we do have your, your website here, Feel Better Naturally. We've got some of your products. I understand, y'all – now, do you deliver – to San Antonio's and, and and then you deliver your products and is that also done with the bus? No, we get asked that a lot. Okay. I wish we could because it would be super cool, but it's not very economical. Um, well, you, yeah, you don't you don't want to have the bus rolling around with all that inventory, you know, set up in there. It's more on design to yeah. to drive somewhere and park it and then set it up, right? Exactly. Yeah. So we actually deliver in a very discreet way. Our car is unmarked. We don't like I'm wearing a name tag today just for the show, but we don't normally wear company markings. Um, our customers prefer a discreet delivery service. So that's what we offer. Yeah, I can see where that might be an important uh, <laughs> sales service to be the to have the discreet uh, part. Uh, of, yeah, uh, not everybody the wants business. their neighbors knowing what they're into. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were in featured in the new issue of the magazines, the the Texas Hemp Reporters, available in some six or seven hundred smoke shops across the state of Texas. Um, you've got a, a really cool profile that that we did on you guys on page ten and eleven. I see you have it set up right there next to you. Uh, there I in the it. in the store, if you haven't. Uh, seen or if you've got a copy of the magazine I have here, here on screen uh, the ph pharmacy mechanical shop uh, leading the green revolution on wheels and this is a great little article we did there here you can kind of see the bus and you guys have some events that y'all are doing I guess next weekend there's another one on the 1st of September um, but this is a great way to shop for folks uh, inside the bus. Tell us a little bit about how this idea came to fruition with, with you and Ben there and, and, and wanting to get, you know, have a, have this, have an option to have wheels. <laughs> yeah. So we, since we started the pharmacy in 2019, we've always done local markets and pop-up events and, um, we actually never planned originally to have a store, but there was so much demand for it at the time that we ended up having a retail store, but we still always done pop-ups. And um, with CBD and THC products now, all from hemp, um, they're really sensitive to the heat and it's you know hot in Texas like nine months of the year. So we were kind of trying to figure out a better way to do things where our products would stay temperature controlled we would stay temperature controlled and it could be like a cool new thing. Uh, so this is what we came up with. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like it's so much more than just a bus. Like I, I read the article um, that I think Clay wrote this. Yep. Um, and it, it says that, you know, you, it, you walk in, it's kind of a chill atmosphere. It's also just um, kind of a lounge, like for people not to only shop, but also to just hang out and pets are welcome. Um, so it sounds like you guys are just really trying to cater to your demographic. Um, the, I read also that your husband had back problems, which is why you guys were introduced to CBD. And that's something that I hear so much, um, with people that we interview that that's 
why they end up like starting a business. So um, can you kind of just talk about the um, the way that you guys have been perceived so far, like by customers? Yeah, um, so the bus has been a hit like everywhere we've taken it. There's nothing else like this in San Antonio. Um, and we kept it purposely like very neutral. So we want everyone to feel comfortable when they come on here. Um, so it's all very neutral and we've had families on here. We've had actual pets on the bus. We had one of the Marley, Alex Marley at the Reggae Fest came and hung out with us on the bus. <laughs> oh, nice. How so cool. it is like a fun little lounge atmosphere. And then, of course, we set it up as our mobile retail store, which, um, you know, it's fun. Like it's something new and different. And it's just kind of a fun little way to shop um, or get some information on hemp and different products. So it's been really well received. So we're really happy about that. Nice. Yeah. Like, what are some interesting you got, events that you guys have been able to do in the bus? I'm thinking like this would be a cool thing you could even call and order to come to your wedding and make sure your guests are having fun. <laughs> yeah, there's like a catering aspect. Yeah. You could probably, I don't know if she's looked or her and Ben have thought about that, but that's a good idea. Right, like an open bar concept, but like, you know, hemp style. <laughs> <laughs> and open like a gummy bar or something yeah. <laughs> right. or dad. yeah we thought about that um like opening it up to private events you know to be booked uh we haven't quite gotten there yet um mm -hmm. we've just launched this in april so we're still finding our feet a little bit but yes i mean we'd love to do be able to open it up to private events and you know have someone have it at their wedding and have like, instead of set up as a store, it's set up as a gummy bar or a flower bar or something like that. <laughs> nice. It is such a great visual. Well, this is super cool. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a, a commercial break here and we'll we'll come back. But we'll when we come back from commercial break, let's let Carolyn give us a tour of the outside of the bus. Can we do that with you get, and uh, maybe let you uh, walk around the bus or show us how it looks outside and then come back in if they want to do that. So we're going to go take our commercial break right now, Carolyn, and then we'll come back and we'll. We'll let her uh, give us a little tour of the bus with her with her mobile device. So we're going to use her cell phone as a way to give us a little peek of the uh, cannabis as we continue the conversation here. This is the Texas Hemp Show podcast 141 this week. You're listening to the Texas Hemp Show, the one and the only 1027 Austin, ESPN Austin. We'll be right back. You all up in my mind, I just wanna see you go shining, let's go. 